Hello everyone. I've never made a video like this. I just thought after the uh, influx of people from Virtual's community that I should probably introduce myself. My name is John, or as most people call me on the internet, Johnny. The reason most people know me as Johnny Online is because I feel like Johnny fits better with other words and usernames than John. For example, my username of Johnny Cyan. I think John Cyan sounds a bit strange. I don't really like it. So I've just always used Johnny in usernames, even though in real life, nobody calls me Johnny. So I've kind of gotten almost more used to people calling me Johnny than John because I have more people online talking to me than in real life. I'm 24. My birthday is April 1st, so I was born on April Fool's Day. Uh, I've been making music for about 10 years now. I make it because it's fun, and Virtual's khaki streams have been the first thing in a while to actually inspire me to make a song. Before that song, the last song I had released was a cover, and it was in 2018. So it's uh, been a while. I've, I've worked on other things since then, but I never thought they were good enough to release, so I haven't released anything since, since 2018. So first of all, I just want to thank everybody that came over from Virtual Stream and those who subscribed. I, I love you guys. You're awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I went from 50 subscribers to around 200 in a single day, which is just insane. It took five years to get 50 subscribers and uh, you guys smashed it in a day, um, which is incredible. Before that song, the highest views I'd ever had on a song were like 70. So it has 3,000 right now, and I, I don't... That's, that's crazy to me. So I thought I would uh, kind of walk you through the instruments that I use, the uh, software that I use to make music, in case anyone was curious. I'll try to split this into chapters on YouTube, so if you don't want to watch a certain part, you can just skip ahead, you know, to the next part. I've never done that before, but I think I can figure it out. So, first off, the microphones that I use. This is the uh, Shure SM7B. I had wanted this microphone for a very long time, ever since I actually first saw Ed Sheeran use it in his live performances. I just loved the way it sounded. And one Christmas uh, about four years ago, I finally was able to purchase it and I've had it ever since. But this is not actually the microphone that I used to record the virtual song. I used a uh, Slate ML1, which is an interesting microphone because it's basically designed to be completely flat and then it has mic emulation software to make it sound like you know, vintage microphones. I recently got that. I've only had that for a couple weeks, actually, so I'm still kind of learning it. The guitar I use is called a Firefly FF338. It's a company that only makes guitars for short periods. Like, they'll release a model, and then they'll only release a couple thousand of that, and then they will stop making them. They're very cheap guitars, though, and for, um, for the price, they sound pretty nice. The acoustic guitar that I have and that I used in the song is a uh, Breedlove Discovery Concert CE. I've had that for many years. It's okay. <laughs> it's uh, not terrible. Um, as you can see behind me, the uh, walls are actually covered in sound absorption blankets. They're called Producer's Choice Sound Absorption Blankets from um, Vocal Booth To Go, if you're curious no sponsors involved i just i just like the product and then as you can see right here is my uh, electronic drum set that is how i was able to get such a good drum sound because i didn't actually record it i use the uh, roland td 25 kv plugged into my computer through midi and then i used a software called perfect drums to uh, use their drum samples and i think they sound really nice and then uh, the interface that I used for everything, I plugged everything into, is the Focusrite 2i2. It's actually the first generation, which is really old. I've had it for a long time. 
And that, that does it pretty much for all of the uh, hardware that I use. Let me uh, show you some of the software I use now. So my audio workstation of choice is Ableton. I've gone through quite a few different ones. When I first started, I used FL Studio, and then I switched to Persona Studio One, and, and then I settled on uh, Ableton. And I've not went back to the other ones. The uh, MIDI control that I get in Ableton is, is better than any of the other softwares. It's, it's the primary reason I use it. The guitar sound was created with a plugin called Tone Forge. I just messed around with the settings until I found something I liked. I mentioned the drums were from a plugin called Perfect Drums. The bass, I don't actually own a bass, so I played that on my MIDI keyboard using the contact library Scarby Rickenbacker bass. I love that bass sound, it's great. And I know at least a few of you have asked for an instrumental version of the song, so I will be releasing that. Also, some of you have asked if I will be releasing the song to Spotify and other such music streaming services, and I send it out to the distributors. I use a service called Sounddrop to distribute my music. I only recently started using it, actually. I only have one other released song, and that's my cover of Newfound Glory's song, Vicious Love. So I don't actually know how long it'll take for them to distribute my song, because I've never released an original song. I've only released a cover, and it took them a couple weeks to get the licensing for it, but that's not a thing they have to do for this. So I imagine it'll be a couple days, I'm not sure. I'll update you guys when I have more information. I'll probably just make a community post or something, even though, again, I've never done that, but I'm sure it's not too difficult. And I just realized my battery's about to die on my camera, so let me swap the battery real quick. All right, there we go, new battery in. I would like to do a, a Q&A possibly, if anyone's interested in that, if anyone has any questions they want to ask me about me or about the song or any music thing really. I don't know if anyone will be interested in that, but if you have a question for my Q&A, you can leave it in the comments and I'll take a look and make a follow-up video if there's enough people that have questions for that. But otherwise, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, so uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you for anyone who has decided to subscribe and continue this journey with me. Bye.